people are feeling better here. That there's a sense of optimism that we hadn't seen in a long time. And that thrills me because being from the rocks, we're kind of the heart of it, aren't we? I mean, God-fearing, common sense, hard work, and all that, personal responsibility. I'm so glad to see it coming back. And I, Tom was read, reading in the uh, program there, your, uh, your annual report, that, oh, I know about the tough stuff of the steel industry, but you know, it's sort of interesting in life. When you face a hardship and you don't give up, sometimes great things can come from it. And the diversification that we're seeing here now, and of course this unbelievable discovery uh, of energy, but we don't want to just bet on that. We bet on one thing before, didn't work. We want to diversify and be many things to many people, and Sam understands that probably better than anybody. In our state, why are we doing better? Well, and I don't want to see this seem like this is an advertisement, <laughs> but I feel compelled to tell you because we need to celebrate some good things. When I came in, we were, we were dying like a leaf on a tree. I mean, we were down over 400,000 jobs. We're getting slaughtered. Our credit was going down. We had an $8 billion hole, and we had 89 cents in the rainy day fund. Now, two years later, we are up well over 100,000 jobs. Our credit is stable. Our budget is balanced, and we have $2 billion of surplus in the state of Ohio. I mean, in two years, okay? What that, means, what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that it creates a buzz. So in the state of Ohio, people who are here, they, this is our family here, the Cavellis and the other business people that are here, V&M and what they're doing, it sends a message, doesn't it, Sam, that it is safe, it is safe to invest and expand. We're not going to have something fly out of the window there and whack us upside the head and disrupt our investment.